Here we're asked to graph a piecewise defined function, where the first piece is a linear function and the second piece is the squaring function. Let's begin with a rectangular coordinate plane. Here the linear function has a y-intercept at 0, 1. From the y-intercept we'll mark off the slope, in this case 2 thirds. We'll rise 2 units and run 3. Now two points determine a line and we can graph that function. Now this function is only defined for x values that are less than zero. So what we'll do is erase the portion of the graph for which it's not defined. In fact, we're gonna use an open dot here when x is equal to zero because of the strict inequality. Now for the second piece, the squaring function, that's only defined for x values greater than or equal to zero. And so the smallest x value is zero when I plug in zero, zero squared is zero, and the origin is a point on that graph. If I substitute x equals one, we can get another point, one comma one. Substituting in x equals two, um, another point would be two comma four. And we can see the portion of the squaring function here when x is greater than or equal to zero. And so there we have the graph of the, of the piecewise defined function f of x.